Hey guys, welcome to this game with this guy, otherwise known as Minecraft with John. Alright, uh, today I actually have some... What do you want to call them? Mob spawners, I guess? Uh, yeah, mob spawner. So we are under this giant thing here. Uh, this over here is the ruins of my first attempt <clears throat> of making it on my own. Kind of had an idea of what I was after. It didn't work out as well as I wanted to. I've really modified my uh, wipeout course as well. It's a lot better. Anyway, uh, so it didn't work out how I wanted it to. This is a much simplified... Probably actually, This is probably the fourth or fifth version of it. Um, took some ideas from a couple people online. Modified it with my own. Which is what this big monstrosity here is. I don't care about making redstone compact all the time. Sometimes I just want to make it... Um, What's the word? Work. <laughs> like, whatever. I don't care. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, I'm going to make this a little bit more obsidian here, do something different out here, so if a creeper does blow up, it won't mess me up. I've been having, I've been turning mom griefing off so they can't blow things up. Anyway, uh, how this works <clears throat> is there are four channels inside of it that have water and ice, packed ice, and the uh, mobs will spawn inside because it's a dark... It's a dark room, and uh, then they walk into the little channels, and I'll show you inside of it in just a second. But I wanted to be able to switch it, so I thought, how do I switch? How do I switch it? How do I switch it easily without making some kind of crazy, giant, complicated thing? And that was what I was thinking, just how do I make it work easily? So I came up with this idea. I just, when there's light um, inside, the mobs won't spawn. So what we do is, at night time, the torches pretty well light up the inside of it. Um, again, I punched random holes in the top of this thing, and then put glass in them, and then went back and was like, ah, oh, let's put pistons and blocks. And then once the pistons and blocks were in place, I was like, ah, oh, I gotta figure out how to wire all this up. And it, it just basically runs a, a circuit from around, it goes around the outside, around the outside, and then comes over here and just kind of loops back in. Nothing really that impressive, nothing real special, but um, it works. So it, it's currently off, as you can see, because the, there's light coming into it. And we will turn it on and float back up here, so gently and nice. And as you can see, uh, the pistons you know move the blocks out over their sticky pistons, so they pull the blocks back. But they move the blocks out over the holes and. It's now dark inside, so I think I have sandstone here. Yeah, so let's pop down inside this thing and check it out. All right, so yeah, a little bit of obsidian in here too. Uh, so yeah, mobs will spawn in here, and they do, and they walk over here, and you have water and packed ice. Uh, the reason it's not falling down here is because it's eight blocks from the, from the source block, which that's as far as it will go. So it goes to the end and stops. So a mob will walk over here, then they'll, they'll jump, and they'll try to do stuff, but they just... Slide over here, and they fall 21 blocks. That's uh, 21 from, I think, here up. I think that's what it is. Anyway, so it almost kills them. It doesn't quite kill them, just almost. Because <clears throat> the thing is, if it kills them, and then you might not be right there to get... Where's the... There it is. You might not be right there to get um, everything, or... I don't know. Anyway. Basically, you can just walk up to here and go whack, 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 whack. Uh, and, and hit their legs. And it doesn't take maybe a, a hit or two to kill them. If you have a sword, it's like one hit on everything. Now, as you can see, it's on and nothing's happening. That's because I built another spawner in, this, uh, in the ground down here. I can't wait to show you guys this. So yeah, nothing's happening here. This is probably no longer going to be the one I use. But proof of concept, it's there, yeah. Event originally, oh man, I think I have a picture of it somewhere. I might try to add in a screenshot if I took a screenshot of it, but. This was where the mob spawned, and then they came down a channel over here to this, and then they were fed down through water down here somewhere. It's all gone now. Um, 
No, they were they were just fed to me, and they weren't like pre damaged or anything. So I had to kill them all the way. But it, it it never worked. I was too far away from the big square that was floating in the sky up here. So then I made this uh, to drop them like this does, and it was a water catch at the bottom, so they wouldn't get hurt. And then I could kill them and get everything. <clears throat> Again, it just didn't work right. So this this is much better, and it did work until I started the other thing and where's the hole for this I haven't completed this up to the ground yet uh, you know so I can get back up here there it is um, it's a work in progress so all this was already here and so my mob spawner up top would work I lit this whole place up um, because if there's mobs spawning down here, none would spawn in my spawner. <clears throat> so the massive cave complex is lit up. And I went through an entire um, subway system. I have signs here that's telling me where to go. Um, and lit it all up. Or not subway system. Uh, abandoned mine shaft. Yeah, lit the whole thing up. Every tunnel. And I'm talking, I found every bit of it. And lit it up. <clears throat> and in the process of doing that, I ran across... Oh my gosh... I ran across 10, 11 spawners, maybe? All cave spider spawners. And I got rid of all of them, except one. One, I just put the torches around. And I'm really glad I did. Because here it is. This is my cave spider spawner um, XP farm, whatever you want to call it. And that's really what these is, is XP farms. So, make sure we are in... We're in normal. Well, I'll set it back on survival. And uh, there's a couple spiders. Alright, now um, I've seen some videos and stuff, there's different theories, 8x8 surrounding the block, or 10x10, 10 10. Um, that block doesn't actually occupy a block, it only occupies a corner of a block, blah blah blah, whatever. Um, basically, if I this whole wall on the right here, if I moved it back one block, it would probably be a little bit better for me, and I would have a little bit higher um, spawn rate. Not really worried about it. <clears throat> so I've got water moving a long way here and that looks kind of interesting oh there's three spiders um, but what's going on here is they're right just right behind this um, spawner is a source block and they, mo they move eight <clears throat> and then I cut back oh wow there's three four spiders wow I cut back another eight and went under that wall in the back there so Basically, when the water stops, there's another source block and it keeps going. So wherever they spawn, they just keep going. And it's all packed ice under there. So they really don't stand a chance. They just slide like crazy. Okay, so let's go downstairs. Um, there are some abandoned mine shafts around here still. But they're not really... There's nothing really much going on in them. See, this was already here and I kind of just, just made it part of that room. So here's my staircase. I built a couple things down here. I, I like this. This is pretty cool. So that room is eight. It's actually nine. Well, it would be eight. It's uh, it's longer than that. But where they drop off, where the spiders like come towards where I was standing a minute ago, and then they drop down here. And there's another. This is eight wide here. And then there's another source block that. Uh, or how did I do that? No. I cut it down one, because this was the eighth block right here, and I cut it down so the water would fall and run down here. So what it basically just feeds spiders to me. There's a piston right above me, and you'll have to use it, because you can see there's a spider stuck up there. He's trying to climb back up the wall. So we will come down here, and we'll get rid of these guys. A little piece of uh, iron gate here, so I have a little opening. And as you can see, I'm just getting XP like crazy. I mean, obviously, it's not super, super quick. It's not like it's just racking it up stupid fast, but uh, it's a lot faster than mining or smelting. Okay, so now let's see if that one spider's still up here. He is. So you hit this switch here, and it pushed him down. See, there he is. He was up here, and because he, he's sitting on top of this glass block. 
I have to have it like that so the full thing from upstairs can fall down, but that just pushes them off the top of that glass block. And, I mean, there'd be sometimes, there'd be 20 spiders all stuck there. So now we have some spider eye and string. I'm probably not going to get those string over there, but that's fine. I've got plenty. And as you see, I get the XP, but not the uh, spider string and eyes and stuff. So we hit this switch. And see, I've pushed up. And this block right here has a piston under it, which makes it go up and down. Uh, simple, simple redstone stuff. This one just goes down here and under and then kind of wraps around. And then this one uh, actually goes up. And then it's just, seriously, it's just up on the other side of the other side of this block right there. And then it just comes right over. So it's real simple redstone. But uh, added, added some functionality that I needed to get everything. I mean, you can see I've been doing a little bit. I've got quite a bit of string and spider eyes. And when I started this whole spawner thing earlier today, uh, try, just trying to figure this out, my level, um, my XP level was like 31, 32, something like that. So, um, can I not eat this carrot? I'm hungry. That's weird. I don't have any more food. Oh, well, um, I don't know why I can't eat the carrot. That's pretty cool. And then, yeah, yeah. Get back out of here. Down this way. <clears throat> Down this way. And then, oh, I'm still in survival. And we fly back out. Okay, so there are my spawners. Pretty stinking cool, I think. And as I typically do with my, um, with my episodes I do build updates what was that what's on the left there um, <laughs> so with 1.8.8 .8, I am able to make massive um, nether portals I fixed this this building was off I made it one wider uh, you come up here you go down to water uh, waterfall of wet or whatever the hell Gavin called it Jump across the lava, climb up this, all the way up to the top, do a sprint jump, jump across this. Again, I had this working. Um, I had the pistons working, and I, I put in lower blocks, like half blocks, so you can't fall out the holes. It still takes minutes, multiple minutes to get through this, because it's just pushing you all over the place. I don't know why it stopped working, though. Um... There's an Enderman. Just went by the bottom of my screen. There he is. Uh, <clears throat> I was thinking about fixing it, but I don't guess I will. We'll. I'll come back to that and fix it another time. I'll show you guys what's in here. It's just a. Uh, Just a little clock. So I, I don't know why it stops working every time I load the game. Anyway, we come down here. We jump into the water. You go up and down. Then up. And this is a trick. This goes to nothing. Uh, and come out right here. If you do it as quick as you possibly can and in perfect, um, you can come out with you can come out with as your second to last bubble goes away 
more typically you come out as your last bubble goes away if you do it really well. Uh, up these jumps, up this ladder to this little platforming area, which I think is pretty cool. It would look good from the side. If I had someone filming it from out here, it would look, it would be, I think, interesting as you jump down. But anyway, you gotta jump here, and then here, and the, these, these uh, jumps right here, you lose about half a heart to a heart. Um, if you fall out, or if you fall off, you go into this little area, and there's a ladder to climb back up and do it all over again. <clears throat> this is the same the same maze from uh, from the Achievement Hunter Wipeout course and then this is more like theirs where you, you ascend up up each level but then I have um, a ladder here another sprint jump and then again into the one by one this one's actually Oh, I missed. <laughs> I was hoping to get it on the first try. Not I could go back and make it look like I did get it on the first try. Not gonna do it. Um Because who cares? Okay, moving along. Uh he hinted at it hinted at it and showed it a second ago. I'm loving how the the more stuff I build the more I can see from each thing. I love that. I just need to keep building stuff. This whole area right here needs to get built up. I gotta put some stuff in the snow. So this will be inside of the, the mega tower. When I do build the mega tower, uh, I think the dimensions are right. That's part of the reason I haven't finished it, is I think the dimensions are right, but I'm not sure. So I built this, thinking, okay, that was the first large nether portal I built. And my thought was, um, you know, if I built a big one out here, then the one that shows up in the nether will be big as well. It's not. The one that shows up in the nether is normal sized. So while I take you over to show you something else, uh, here is the start of a skating rink. You can't skate in the game, but whatever. Also thinking about very seriously thinking about putting uh, a giant creeper back over here. Also thinking about making the the uh, jack the jack statue thing behind Jack's house. Oh, should be in this tree right there. It is. So what I wanted with the big. Another portal was a gas to come through into the overworld. And uh, there's a gas down there. So I built a big one. This is 23 by 23. Um, I built it in the nether. And this can bring a gas through into the overworld. Thinking about building a few more, like just kind of all right in here, um, to catch them. I, I think you have to come in here and then get one to go through, I guess. So I don't think, trying not to yawn there, I don't think one will come through without my assistance. Kind of sucks. I think, I really, I think that's all I've got on build updates. You know, the main thing about this video here was the spawners. As I'm kind of stalling and flying back over towards my city. Um, I know I haven't made any updates to the city. Just trying to think if there's anything else I've updated or done. I, I don't. I don't guess there is. I guess that's all we got. So, what a lackluster into the video.